So this is what I think is the world's smallest motorcycle. And it was purchased at a secret club that only members are allowed to buy stuff at. And the reason we bought this is so that we can test it because I've got a theory and it goes like this. All the old guys that hang around barbershops, diners, and hardware stores all say the same thing, that the old stuff is better than the new stuff. And their topic of discussion is cars, motorcycles, and sports. And since I don't know anything about sports, we're working on the first two. Cars, the claim is that muscle cars from the 60s are better than current day stuff. And I've got a simple answer for you, the Hellcats. And I don't even like Dodge. The muscle cars now are competing at a new level where their horsepower and torque numbers are getting pretty close to trains. And motorcycles are the same story. They're bigger, faster, better, more reliable, safer, more efficient, and there's infinitely more options than ever. But there's a problem. There's a segment in the market where these old guys might be right. The greatest and coolest segment of motorcycling, the folding bike. And to explain the history of the foldable motorcycle, here is my friend, editor, and newest American citizen, Carlos. The history of foldable motorcycle. So the story of these motorcycles are very cool. Uh, easy to drive, you have uh, a power, but maybe it's not that powerful. Are you understanding that uh, probably... I'll take it from here, Carlos. Okay. The foldable motorcycle has been a staple of strange items that you'll find in the back of popular mechanic magazines for decades, pushing the performance and storability of the motorized vehicle since the 1940s. Some of the most memorable foldable motorcycles include the Indian Papoose that had large handlebars that fold down for the military, the Fuji Go Devil that folded into a tiny box, the Mazda suitcase car, and the legendary Honda Moto Campo which was made to fit inside the back of a Honda City compact car. All of these bikes were powered by gas. So next thing to do is let's take this thing down and see what we got. All right, I'm ready for this electric motorcycle video. Where's my bike? What's up, Craig? Oh, it's over there. That's not ready yet. No, no, it's over there. It's right here, Craig. I don't see. Wait, what? Here's your bike. Why, why do I always get the stupid bikes? What are you talking about? You always get the good ones. I don't think this is going to be the good one. Why, why not? Look how small it is. All right, fine. I'll, you want this one? I think I'd fit on that one better. I'll take the small one. This is my plan the entire time. This one's way better. Finally, I get the better of the two bikes. So in the name of science, Craig and I unfolded our bikes for the first time to see how these very different machines accomplished foldability and unfoldability. Check this out. It's got a little magnet. It's got a little magnet right here that connects it. This thing looks fairly simple. Oh, my magnets are adjustable here. Oh, spring loaded. It's stuck. Now it's stuck. What's going on here? All right, so you got to unfold it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, everything's all like quick. Quick connect. There we go. Pop that open. Let's see here. Can't stand. Oh, look how cool that is. So satisfying. There we go. Check this out. Get in there, come on. Those work. Oh, yeah, that's high. Bro mine's broken, what the? There's a few things that you don't want to have happen to you while you're riding a bike at 20 miles an hour. Is your bike to fold in half? Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Why do you think they hid the on and off switch up behind the thingy? Okay, I have lights. Oh, it's a, look at these lock. Craig, does yours work? Nope. Check it. Okay, now <laughs> I got lights again. <laughs> look at this thing. Check this thing out, look at this. Look, this is the brakes. Really? It's, a, it's an electric brake that connects to the motor. 
I know you guys are dying for me to pull this stuff off. ASMR, motorcycle unboxing. You seeing this, Craig? Wheelies. <laughs> Wheelies. Burn out. It's so funny because of the way the wheel, yeah, I can't tell if you're coming or going. Oh, shoot, check it out. It was down here. Now it comes to me, this is comfortable. All right, so mine is the Hino, he, no, Hemo, Hymo, Hemo H1, which as far as I know, that makes this the predecessor to the legendary H2. And this is actually a pretty clever uh, little design. The whole bike probably weighs less than 20 pounds. It's got a cool little digital gauge up here that shows your, your battery life and how fast you're going. It's in kilometers, I don't know how to change that. There's no buttons on it other than the on button. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually not that uncomfortable. So right here, it's got a little hub motor. It's probably the tiniest little hub motor I've ever seen. And here's the wire that goes to the battery that goes to the controller. And I can only assume the battery is in either, either one of these sides. Now I come to the back, I don't know what's going on here. This is a master on off switch right there. And then this is where you plug it in the charge, but it's got this cool little, I don't know why. Oh, is that the carrying handle? That's your buddy pegs. This is where your girl sits. Yeah. <laughs> if she stands up on here. So this is the Jetson that we're gonna affectionately call George from here on out. This is the Jets. This thing's actually pretty cool. It has disc brakes in the front and the back, has a tiny little kickstand. It's got reflectors. What else do we have? Oh, we have a bell. Three speeds, cruise control, cause that's gonna be handy. What else do we have? A headlight. Let's see here. Let's see if it turns on and what it does. Oh, got a reflector there too. Hey! Go figure out them brakes. So me and Craig giggled and rode our bikes in the shop until we realized that real men ride their little tiny electric bikes outside. So obviously the first test we're gonna do is a zero to 60 run, but I don't think these things, uh, let's do it. Zero to six? I got three speeds, fast, super fast, and ultra fast. Wow. And then we would do a zero to 30. These bikes can't do 30. What's your top speed? This here is 15 and a half miles an hour. Do you know what my top speed is? I didn't read the manual. <laughs> let's see which one's got the faster top speed. And while we're at it, let's drag race them. I think it's safe to say you got you got bested, Craig. I don't know, we'll have to see the instant replay. All right, so here's the plan. Let's say we end up liking one of the one of these. We get a bunch of them. We pack them up in the van, and whenever we're going trips, if the van breaks down, if we run out of gas, we can just pull these things out and then um, drive right ride to safety. There's so much wrong with that plan. So much. Would you guys please just tell Sean that we need a new van? This is getting ridiculous. I love that van. We're never changing it. Van life forever. All right. So the next challenge that we got going on: load capacity test. And I got an idea for that. All right, so we realized these things really don't handle, they don't, they don't perform, they just, they're really, really slow. And my seat is so tiny that if I jump on it, if I land the wrong way, I'm, I'm concerned that my bike might end the wrong spot. 
All right, guys, hold on, hold on. This is, this is not working. This, what we're doing doesn't make any sense. We are trying to use these foldable electric motorcycles and we're trying to put them to a test that's made for sport bikes and, and performance bikes and regular motorcycles. We're, this, doesn't, this doesn't give us any information. We need to go back to the drawing board. We need to figure out a new test. We need to do something different. Agreed. So I needed some inspiration. So I went into the inspiration room which is usually the editing room, but we put some pictures on the wall. I needed to get into the mind of folding. How do you fold? When do you fold? And why do you fold? Because if I can figure out how to answer these three questions, I will better understand the foldable motorcycle. And after a few hours of inspiration, I think I had a breakthrough. All right, so now I think we have a pretty good idea of what these foldable bikes are actually good for. So here's a scenario. You're driving in your van, your 318,000 mile van that you love, and it breaks down or runs out of gas. Very possible. It, it's possible we run out of gas on a weekly basis. Yeah. So we're gonna see if these things can get us back to the shop or see how far they'll get us. Is your door just cracking apart? No. Like, it's gonna fall off one day. It's just a couple cracks in the door. It's not a big deal. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, aren't these bikes foldable? Well, yes, they are foldable, but, you know, van life. So we set off on our long journey, and after riding this for a few miles, I realized that this was less of a motorcycle and more in the roller skate family with a seat. A pretty uncomfortable seat. This fun riding reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, Psalms 112.5. It is well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. So initially I was thinking like, oh man, I wish this bike would go faster. <laughs> this is the most unstable thing I've ever ridden. Because the way the, the rake is, it's straight down. It's almost dangerous to ride with one hand. You really need two hands to stabilize it. Hey, Craig, how many bars you got? Dos. Dos. Dos, dos barros. I'm down to one. Oh, I got two. Dos, dos barros is little. See, I'm learning. My bike eventually ran out of power, but not after it did what felt to be at least 10 miles of the slowest riding of my life. While Craig's bike continued going, Craig's bike claimed to be able to do 15 miles, which is incredible. Oh, Yo, do you smell that? Dang, Craig. What was that? Classic Craig. I'm down to one bar. I love e-bikes. This really is some good exercise. Ah! And then I realized what was missing from this review and Craig and I decided to take our small foldable bikes to a place that no motorcycle I've ever owned could take us. So I've seen buses come here, but to be honest with you, Craig, do you know how a bus works? I don't. I think we give them a dollar when we get on and we just wait until we want to get off. I have no idea. I tried looking at the website. I have no idea. I never rode a bus before. Do we need a bus pass? I hope not. I've heard the phrase bus pass before. Probably for like a daily subscription. I mean, you can take dogs on a bus. We should better take little motorcycles. How do they know when we want to get off? We start yelling? Maybe, maybe they have one of those ropes you pull and it slams on the brakes like a train. I hear you meet all the coolest people on a bus. I think I stepped in poop on the way over here. Oh, really? Yeah, it smells. Seems about right. Classic bus problems. Would you like a box of chocolates? You got chocolates? There's the bus. Is that our bus? That's not our bus? I don't know, it's going the wrong way. Is it gonna turn around, U-turn? Is there another bus stop right there? Here's the bus, here's the bus. <clears throat> Howdy, boss. It's my first time riding a bus. Do I pay now or I pay after when I keep it? Just keep it, you yeah, okay? Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You have to take multiple buses to get to where you're going? Where does this bus go to? And then what, you, you just, whenever you want to get off, you just pull that cord over there? What's up, man? I'm Sean. 
literally what's my name John too. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna be bus pals. Oh, you got a W? All right. I got. I'm S E A N. Okay. We're different, but we're the same. Right. It's kind of hard to see out these windows. Cool, brother. You guys uh, have a great day. Hey, you have a good one. Oh, I'll start with the rock hat hair. What do you do? You do you have a bus pass? Like a like a monthly bus pass? You take the bus every day. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Looks like we're gonna be bus pals. Maybe when we're done, we'll go grab some ice cream or something like that. You know what I mean? Look at all these people with their cars. They think they're better than us. You ever go to that uh, diner? I like diners. Man, when you order pizza, they give you no. You order the pancakes. The pancakes are this big, like the size of a pizza. Yeah, it's like three bucks with the yeah, like three years with the pancakes. You ever go to a barnstormers game? How come you didn't go? You ever pull the cable but then blame it on someone else? You blame it on someone who's sleeping? It was her. She's sleeping. Do you know Jesus? All right. What you go to church right here? This your stop? Yeah. Is that tobacco? Are they rolling tobacco back here? See that right there? So me and Craig surprisingly had the best time taking our foldable motos on public transportation. And I met two new best friends, which is something that never would have happened riding a big, real, actual motorcycle. Stop the Have a good one. See you later. See you later. What'd you tell him when he asked if you were going to be on YouTube? I said, yes. See you there, suckers. All right, so I got to admit, these are better than I thought they were going to be. I mean, they got pretty good range. The problem is they're so utilitarian. When they made them foldable, they sucked out all the fun out of what motorcycles really are. My question is, are the 80s ones any better? And can we make something better than this that's foldable and more fun? Maybe we'll try it out. But there's still one big question that everyone's dying to know. Can I beat a girl on roller skates with one of these motorcycles? Let's go find out. Way slower than I thought. Way slower. <laughs> 